today I'm going to be showing you how to finish maple syrup. It's the end of the sugaring season here at River Edge, and that means we've shut down the evaporator for the final time. And at the end of the season, the evaporator has um, some sap that is in the finishing pan that is nearly syrup, but is not quite done. So we've transferred it into these food grade pickle buckets here. And I'll be finishing that off in this propane fired finisher. We'll get that set up here in a moment and take it from there. Alright, the nearly syrup sap is in our finisher. We'll get this up to a boil and then we'll be checking it as it gets close to syrup. Okay, we've just reached a boil with our sap. So we're going to be taking an initial reading using a syrup hydrometer and a special sampling cup called a Murphy Cup from Smoky Lake Maple Products. Let me show you that. This is a hydrometer. It's used for measuring the density of a liquid. So it has a calibration scale on it that is measured in bricks. And at cold temperature, which is 60 degrees, syrup should be reading a, have a reading of 66.9 degrees bricks. That's right there, that blue line just above that 67 on the scale. So at a hot temperature, which is when we're testing above boiling, or at boiling of the syrup, it should be reading right there at that red line when it's finished. Now the temperature of your sample does affect the density of that liquid. So what we're going to use in addition to the hydrometer is a Murphy's cup, which is developed by Smoky Lake Maple Products and it compensate <coughs> pardon the rooster. Uh, it compensates for the temperature of the sample. So let me show you that. The dial is attached to a thermometer stem down there in the cup and is calibrated to adjust, based on the temperature of the sample, what our bricks reading should be on our hydrometer, which is floating in the sample cup. So typically, again, we're looking for 66.9 degrees bricks, but this is going to tell us what the reading should be on the hydrometer to achieve that based on the actual temperature of the sample. All right, let's give it a try. So I'm putting the hydrometer down into the Murphy's cup and you can see that it's not even floating. So this sap is nowhere close to being finished syrup. For it to be finished, it needs to be floating at just a little over 60 and a half. So that would be about right here. So we got a long ways to go. Checking back in, it's about two and a half hours later and our sap is starting to look a lot more like syrup. We're going to take another reading with our hydrometer and Murphy cup. Taking a look at our Murphy cup, we should be at approximately 60 and a quarter on our hydrometer for finished syrup. Let's take a look. Looks like we're floating just a hair above 57. We're getting close, just a little ways to go. 
So we've shut off the propane and we're taking our final reading on the Murphy cup. You can see that it's settling right around 60 on the dial. Let's take a look at the hydrometer. And the hydrometer is floating at 60. So we have finished syrup. End of the season syrup is usually dark with a strong, robust flavor, and this stuff looks like it's going to be no exception. We did add almost two gallons to our season's total by cooking down what was left in our evaporator's finishing pan. I hope this helped you learn how to use a hydrometer and a Murphy's cup to test your maple syrup.